is this like Marvelception? Marvel, Marvel, I don't know. Meh. What's up, peeps? Today I'm doing something a little bit different. It's gonna be less comedy y and more get to know me. So today I'm doing the mixed girl tag. If you did not know, I am mixed. Question number one, what are you mixed with? I am mixed with Korean and African American. My father is black and my mom is Korean. Question number two, what ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? Whew. <laughs> Uh, I've been mistaken for a lot of things. Um, I get asked if I'm Mongolian, Hawaiian, Samoan, um, Filipino, Hispanic, Thai. I feel like I'm missing stuff, but yeah, I, I get asked if I'm lots of different things. Question number three. Is your hair curly or straight? To be fair though, uh, my hair was straight for like 15 years. Um, if I can, I might I might put pictures in here somewhere to show, I don't know where, that's why I'm like pointing everywhere, um, to show what my hair was like when it was straight. But yeah, literally for like 15 years, my hair was straight. There's probably a lot of people that really didn't know. <laughs> when I did finally go natural again, a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, you permed your hair. I'm like, no, 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 no. I finally took the perm out of my hair, actually, is what is what happens. My hair is naturally curly, and I love it. Question number four. Was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? A, a little bit, yeah. I feel like everyone, when they're a teenager, or when they're in middle school, growing up, they're trying to find their place. And sometimes it's hard to find your place when you're two different people, I guess. You know, you've got some people telling you, oh, you're not black enough, or, or you're not Asian enough, or what is, what's wrong with you? Like, how come you don't know how to be blah? And it's like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that there was like an outline or layout of how I'm supposed to act because I'm a certain race. I'm just me, and me is a black and Korean woman, and that's it. Like, it, like it doesn't matter what I do, because what I do is black or is Asian, because I am those things and I'm doing it. Question number five. Which background do you embrace the most? I actually don't like this question because I get asked it a lot. People are like, oh, what do you relate more with? Do you relate more with black or Korean? And I know that there are people out there that think they know the answer. They'll be like, oh, she definitely relates with Asians more because that's who I hang out with or it's who I hung out with in college. And so I'm sure a lot of people will say, oh, she, she embraces or she relates to Asians more. But for me, I don't think that it should matter who I hang out with to whether or not I can embrace my races. I don't feel like just because I hang out with Asian people, that means I don't embrace my black side or my black race. I do. I am black and I am Korean. Like, I am both and I embrace both. I'm not ashamed of either, and it just kind of is annoying that people make these assumptions and try to tell me what I embrace, and I don't like it. So that was a very long answer, <laughs> but the short answer is uh, both. I embrace both. Question number six. Have you ever been teased for being different? Yeah, I've been teased. I've been told you know, that I had the chinky eyes. I know I have small eyes. I have Asian eyes, like that's, it just is. I remember one time when I was in high school, this guy once told me, I think he said something like, I feel bad for you or whatever because you're never gonna be like good enough at sports and you're never gonna be smart enough because you're only half black and half Asian. And I was like, what? You know, like, why would you say that to somebody? Yeah, I've been teased for being different a lot. Not so much anymore, obviously, but when I was younger, yeah. Question number seven. Have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? 
I'm not ashamed now. I'm very, very, very proud to be black and Korean. Um, but when I was younger, yes, I, I was ashamed because, but it was more so because um, I hung out with a lot of white people and a lot of guys that I had crushes on were white and I pretty much was told by various different means that, you know, I couldn't be with a white person because I'm not white. And it sucks. But yeah, so during those times, I would be ashamed, but not so much ashamed that I was black and Korean, just ashamed that, like, I wasn't white. <laughs> but now, psh, I am so proud to be of two different cultures because I think it's so beautiful and it just makes me feel more well-rounded as a person. And yeah, next question. Question number eight, do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? Um, yeah, for sure. I think that it definitely has its benefits for opening your eyes, I think. Seeing things differently, I think you just have different perspective of things because you are two different um, backgrounds. Question number nine. What makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? I think just being able to understand acceptance is beautiful. I grew up in an interracial relationship, a house that celebrated interracial relationships, and it makes me feel more like I'm more accepting of other people. Um, what, what, regardless of the race that they are because, you know, that's how I was raised. So I think that that's what makes it so beautiful, just that idea of acceptance no matter what. And final question! Question number 10. Any advice to someone who struggles with their multiracial identity? Well, I say this in a lot of my videos, but you're beautiful, you're amazing, and you should be proud that you get to have there's these different cultures living right inside of you. I really don't have anything that's like brand new information. I don't have that. So um, it's pretty much the cliche. Just if you're struggling with multiracial identity, um, the only way that you're really going to be able to get better is to accept yourself. It's hard when people are making fun of you or telling you that you suck or telling you you're not good enough or telling you all these negative things, it's really, really hard. And the last thing you want to hear is someone being like, accept yourself. Like, thanks, bro. <laughs> Didn't figure that out on my own. But that's the thing, like, it, that really is what it's all about. The only way that you cannot struggle with your identity is you have to accept it. You have to love yourself. You have to realize that you're amazing. And then you can move on from there. So from me to you, you're awesome. You're amazing, you're beautiful. Keep doing you, accept yourself, love yourself. I accept you, I love you, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my mixed girl tag. That's all the questions I have for you. Yeah, honestly, in the end, I, I love being mixed. I think it's so cool. Thank you, mom and dad, for showing me beautiful love. I think that's all I have to say. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, sorry it wasn't like my usual, it was a little bit more personal. I don't usually like to open up to people, but I felt like this wasn't so bad. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I make new videos every Sunday. And yeah. Thumbs up. Just keeping it real.